This is obviously our third annual and uh, very exciting. Our, our goal uh, was $10,000 for the day. And all of our fundraising goes uh, literally happens today, on, <laughs> including registration. We do everything wow. right from start to finish. So we had um, over 20 volunteers from the keg, all staff, mm -hmm. wow. and a couple of other staff <laughs> um, who are very much involved and tied to uh, the organizing, like to fund and to the cause. Um, my cousin Eric and his two little girls, Emma, who is in remission, and uh, they have been. Uh, they used the pediatric cancer fund, obviously that's what we found out about it, came and spoke and obviously pulled on a few heartstrings as well. And uh, so throughout the day we had the golf tournament, we did 50-50, we had a silent auction for the first time this year, which proved to be a success. We did our live auction again, and uh, at the end of the day, we actually hit $14,000. Oh, wow! So that's more than... Congratulations! <laughs> And that uh, absolutely much help, obviously. We got a nice little chunk of that from University Hospital Foundation for doing the putting green contest. So that was a big help that kind of pushed us over that $14,000 mark. So oh, isn't that just we're pretty excited. So that brings our three year total mm -hmm. over $30,000. Yeah. I'm sure you know through the families you've met that uh, this is a, a fund totally donated funds, there's no money that comes directly from the ministry or anything else, and we use it to help cover expenses that are not covered by our healthcare system. So the main things are drugs to take home, so all many patients that you take at home, many of them are not covered by any system, and they can be quite expensive. And that's how it all started, that was our initial main main focus. And then also to help families that need to travel, but they can travel for the border travel, so it's radiology, radiation, quality, or other questions. And then just to help families with other day to day things, including a little bit of extra tutoring, one of the Ministry of Education offers for them, and sometimes extra babysitting costs, and they go above and beyond the what's accepted. And then things like wigs or prosthesis or other you know, important devices that need to be purchased and are not completely covered. So a bit of everything. And sometimes we get a one off request for something else, and if we get accommodated to try that. I mean, any little thing to make life simpler when they're already going to such a stressful time. So, thanks so much for coming. Yes. So, thank you once again. I can't believe it's been three years since you started, and your person has grown quite a bit. Yes. <laughs> um, as you know, child life is about helping to normalize kids' experience and give them lots of diversion and activities and to help them understand and cope with whatever they're facing whether it's in hospital clinics or oncology clinic, um, having the resources we need for them that are of interest and developmentally appropriate and everything um, is so critical to their um, healing, getting better, and doing normal kid stuff. So we are very reliant on um, community donations for the resource part of our program to purchase and stuff that kids love to do, whether it's game systems or crafts or uh, reading materials, um, cuddly toys, things like that, as well as playrooms in both of the areas and peds and oncology clinic. And we also offer resources to other areas of the hospital that service kids. So there's a big demand on resources, and so your money will really help a lot. It's awesome. It's incredible that we're able to offer those kinds of things. And, you see it in the kids' eyes today. I delivered some things to a child who um, is here with um, ortho injuries, and just you know, the faces light up and oh, some things to do. And families are very appreciative, and that makes a huge difference for the kids and families. Thank you so much. It was awesome. It was really incredible. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to the cake staff. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So the University Hospitals Kingston Foundation went, uh, underwent a dramatic transformation on July 1st. I bet you didn't notice that. <laughs> um, we used to function as four separate corporations, and on July 1st we became one big foundation with every part of the uh, fundraising process under one umbrella. And we formed a new board of directors, and I'm pleased to invite uh, Sherry Robertson, who's a member of that board, for a couple of weeks now to come forward and say a few words on behalf of our board of directors. Sherry? On behalf of the University Hospitals Kingston Foundation, we'd like to thank you 
Aaron for your organizing committee and your sponsors and all the people who participated in this incredible fundraiser. Uh, the fact that the financial funds are going to um, child life and pediatric oncology means so much. I also volunteer in the cancer clinic and I remember one young family who made many, many visits with their little fellow and I do remember two weeks ago their last visit and they were smiling like Cheshire cats and the mom had tears in her eyes and I said this is such great news. She said yes but the best thing was my son was treated as a child first and then as someone who happened to have cancer. So the two elements come together and uh, you know, I'm just thrilled and I think we all know that um, Hospitals that you know, governments can only do so much to help fundraising. Mm -hmm. So we all need to do more. Uh, so thank you so much. Mm -hmm.